What is up guys? It's been a very long time. I'm sorry about that. Welcome to like a little update video. Um today I'm just gonna be talking about my current I wouldn't say situation but there's just been a lot of stuff that's been going on with me that is preventing me from uploading such as um I got a lot of health issues, like issues with work. Um I recently just sold my Fiesta and I just got this golf um Mark 4 1.6 automatic yeah an automatic car um that ties in with my health issue because i got a lot of problems with my left knee and that is in habit that is not what <laughs> i no take drake all right cool um that stopped me from changing the gears properly in a manual car so i just had to jump on the automatic way for like a couple just until i heal over and everything so yeah this is my goal for mark four um i've been having a lot of problems um I'm not sure if you can see, but the two driver side doors, uh, it got into a, I, well, I wasn't driving the car, but it got into an accident. Yeah, um, the accident was kind of bad. Well, not bad. I don't really know what's going on with the car, but, um, so yeah, I picked up this car for £400, 75,000 miles on it. Uh, got parking sensors. Um, I changed the alloys to those, I don't know what you call them. Yeah, so um, I was up in Birmingham for like a day or so, and then I found this Golf. Um, the driver's side doors were perfect, and then I was just hoping to try to stop it around, but we couldn't actually do it because the person I was doing it around it off the bolts, so that was a complete L and a loss. But you know, also in this little like farm area, I came across this car here. I'm not really sure where it is. Like I think it's a MR2. I could be wrong but don't quote me on that and it just looks absolutely amazing i think this used to be like a race car or something because it says like hennessy motorsport with like a little toe strap there uh 75 years bro that was amazing okay so it was a complete loss during my time there i didn't manage to take the steering wheel out i think this is like um but yeah, uh, to take your stone off, you just disconnect this battery. I always do positive and positive and negative, or negative and positive. I don't really, I'm not really sure, but as long as it's off. Um, also, what you want to do, you want to push like a little flat screwdriver through the like little back hole and push down, and then that should release the clip for the air bag. Um, yeah, let me just try to show you. I was trying to do it in this one right here. Like, you just pull up on the other end then it should release where the airbag is and then it should pop right off um on both sides in it so you want to unclip this yellow part here and uh and yeah mate so yeah um while you're doing this you need to make sure that you take your key out uh yeah automatic <laughs> make sure that your key is out and then make sure it, the steering wheel is locked and what i used i used a m12 spline a 38 ratchet and uh i didn't sure but then yeah press it as well and then you just keep turning it's gonna be a bit stiff so just be prepared for that and then once you take that out you literally just pull the steering wheel right off um yeah so yeah um what you do you would get this like uh this little screw right here and then you will screw it in with your hands first that's a mistake i made um i was trying to do it with this um ratchet but then i realized that i messed up so i was like you know what yeah i can't be asked this here so let me just use the actual let me just screw it in the hand tight put in slim machine right there for you guys look at that slim machine that matrix right there matrix i what oh yeah so then after that now then once it's in enough then that's when you can use a ratchet and then tighten it down i just tighten it until i can't tighten it anymore so well because you know i don't want the steam to be dropping off or whatever i don't want to end up um messing up this m12 uh spline that i got so yeah okay so then after that now you want to get that little 
part that's in it and then you plug it into your airbag and then once that's plugged in you just literally just clip it into the steering wheel and then yeah you're all done and then after you finish that you make sure your horn works you wait you plug you you connect your battery up and then well actually while i was doing it yeah, i thought the airbag was just gonna go phew, while i put the battery back on but it didn't so that's how you know you've done it right so after that now make sure that your horn works and this that and the third and yeah that's everything that's going on with me at the moment i'll be doing a lot of mods to this um golf here because it's not really my dream car but it's like one of my most favorite cars out there because it's so simplistic to work on so leave a like comment and subscribe peace i'll be back soon